Hi everyone, I want to create a video on using a Keynote from Apple. For the majority of my logo videos, I have been using Keynote for its simplicity and transition. For this one minute video, it may have taken me about 20 to 30 minutes to create. What I do, I gather all my logos into one folder. I use Adobe Illustrator and resize the logo to the size I need for Keynote. I can resize the images, which I will show how in Keynote. Let's create a new presentation in Keynote. Select the presentation you want and click on Create at the bottom right hand corner. Because this is going to be a YouTube short, we need to change the canvas size. The top right hand corner is Format Animate Document. Click on Document. Look down the right hand side, see Slide Size. Now drop the menu open and open Custom Size and enter 1080 by 1920. We need the document size to be vertical or portrait mode required for a YouTube short. If you don't do this, the video will not be recognized as a short. I am going to remove everything here, click once on the type box and hit delete, or command A to select all and hit delete. Since I have all my images in one folder, I can easily insert the images into my document. In the main menu, go to insert, choose, select your image, and click on insert when ready. The picture gets placed in the center of the page. You could leave it as is or resize it. Let's resize mine to be 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. With the image still select, click on format here, and then click on arrange to resize the artwork. I do have the constraint proportions checked on, as I want the image to be resized proportionally and not distorted. Enter the size. I use 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. Hit tab so that applies this to the height as well. To arrange the image to be center and middle, use the align drop down menu to do so and it gets moved at the center of the page and middle of the canvas. Usually, I duplicate this slide. Yes, you could add a blank slide or add a new slide, but that may take a few extra steps to get there. I will right click on the slide I want to duplicate and select duplicate as shown. The easiest for me to do is select the image and delete it, and repeat the same process of inserting a picture as above. One more thing, I added the dates to the video. Click at the top T for text. A text box gets placed in the middle of the document. I drag that below my image and type in my dates. I copy this text, go to the next slide and go to the main menu, edit, paste and match style. To get placed in the right spot and text and color. Yes, you can change the text, but I was okay with its gray. It's time to add a new transition or animation where it goes from page to page. Kino has a few cool ones, but I like the magic move for some strange reason. I select all my slides so I only have to do this once. Click on animate and click on add an effect. Scroll down until you see magic move. Read the explanation and click on OK. Change the duration of the fade. Mine was set at 6 seconds. And start the transition automatically as I want the video to play by itself. The rest is its defaults. You can decide if you want to add a beginning or end screens, which I will do afterwards. But when you're ready to export your video, go to the main menu, file, export movie and select 1080p as this is a higher quality one. I couldn't remember what the default settings were so I think the playback should self play, slides are all and I believe the slide before and slide after are overwritten with the animate effect that was set up for this video. Click on next and give the video a name. The file will be saved as an m4v file which is acceptable for YouTube uploads and click on export. Thanks everyone for watching. If you enjoyed the video, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time.